Well, it may seem counterintuitive, but eating more uh, may actually help you lose weight. The trick, of course, is to choose the right things to eat and, believe it or not, do it more often. Fitness and health expert Jenny Evans is joining us now with a lowdown on healthy grazing. Thank you for joining Absolutely. us. Absolutely. I, I like the idea of eating more frequently. I talk you know, to, to friends about that, but it's really what you've discovered is that you really have to eat the right foods more frequently. Right. You know, and I think a lot of people right now are kind of coming off some news resolutions that were maybe pretty strict when it comes to eating. And I think intellectually we think, you know what, if I only eat once or twice a day, my body will actually go take some of this extra energy that it needs from fat. And that's actually the opposite mm -hmm. of how our body functions. So mm -hmm. we need to make sure that we keep energy in the body frequently throughout the day so the body doesn't think there's ever an emergency mm -hmm. in which it wants to actually hang on to those fat cells. Okay. So you brought some ideas is with you and, and with us so let's talk about let's start with breakfast yep now again i'm not a, a food mm -hmm. designer here mm -hmm. so this is all pretty simple and basic right. but i mean this is literally the way i eat fast easy so literally something like you know a slice of toast with peanut butter and jelly and a banana it's mm -hmm. really important to have protein in your three meals of the day because it really does anchor your um your meal and it makes you feel satisfied for longer. Okay, so eat every three hours and start out with something. And then now we're talking about 11 o'clock. We're talking about noon for the next one? Maybe even like mid morning. So okay. based on what time you have your breakfast, about mm -hmm. three hours later, having a really, really small snack. And it doesn't have to be a lot of food. So we're talking about maybe a single container of yogurt. It could okay. be a piece of fruit where you could even do this really quick while you're working. So it's mm -hmm. simple, easy, and convenient. Okay, low fat, non fat. How does it, what do you prefer? You know, I kind of like the the low fat. Okay. Having a little bit of fat in there, mm -hmm. um, again, kind of anchors that snack and makes it right. last a little bit longer. Okay, so now we're moving on to lunchtime, and you've got quite a few things on there. And I, I love the topping on this because that's now kind of one of the new things out there. And I can't remember what this is called. You know, they are they're coming out with really small the thin what they, uh, bread. Okay, there's different bread like pita versions, right. bagel versions. Okay, but mm -hmm. it's less calories, mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of one of those brainless things. But mm -hmm. again. This is actually going to be my lunch when I leave. Okay. So, you know, throwing together literally like a turkey sandwich, a few fresh cut vegetables, mm -hmm. and a small bag of chips of, this could take you less than five minutes in the morning to throw okay. this together for your lunch. All right. And then you say also eat to the point of feeling full, but not satisfied, but not like you're just stuffed. Exactly. So instead of feeling to the point of being totally full, only eating to the point of being satisfied, mm -hmm. because again, you're going to be eating in about three hours. Okay. So. By eating light and eating often, you're really kind of spreading out the energy. It's keeping your metabolism running mm -hmm. strong. And then you're not getting so hungry mm -hmm. that you end up overeating on a really big right. meal. So it just keeps you really steady. What about just like cutting the portion in half? Does that work? You know, do you, or do you think, or does it visually help? Yeah, taking a smaller portion size and just saying, you know what, at every meal I should have some form of protein. Mm -hmm. It can even be vegetarian. Mm -hmm. I should have some fruits and vegetables and I should have a good source of grain. So just a little bit of those three things mm -hmm. really creates a nice healthy balance and it's also giving you the nutrients that your body really needs in order to function well. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate grazing. Eating. Spread it out. Spread it out. Eat all day. That's right. So <laughs> for more information on Jenny or her topic today, visit carolovin.com and you'll find our show page under the news tab.